We're here today looking at a Mazda Bongo 1996 2.5 diesel, which is pouring coolant out and it transpires it's got a leak on this hose here. So first of all, we need to order up the hose, make sure we actually get the right one. This end of the hose here, looks like it's gonna be pretty easy to undo, but that end of the hose in there, the end of this hose is here. It's just a standard hose clip fitting. It'd be easy to undo that one there, but not so easy to undo the other one. Before you start this job, you're gonna to have to get access to the engine. You can do that by undoing this little screw here, taking this out and undoing this. This plastic cover will just lifts straight off. There's one clip here one clip down here and one clip down here you want to fold this chair back and then the chair will tilt all the way back giving you access to the engine before you take the pipe off the engine make sure you have a cork or something like that to bung up this end of the pipe what you're going to do is you're going to take that end of the pipe off the cylinder block and coolant is going to come gushing out and you're going to have the new pipe on hand and you're going to push it on remembering that before you do anything else you want to grease or oil or vaseline whatever you've got to hand the pipe so it slips on nice and easily and don't forget to have the hose clip on the pipe before you do it you're going to push that side on and coolant is then going to go out here forcing all the air out and then you're going to have a corked hand and you're going to cork it so you don't have coolant gushing out and similarly when you do the bottom half, you're gonna cut that other pipe off. And as soon as you've got it off, this bit of the pipe is gonna be nicely oiled and greased. You're gonna push it on, and that's then gonna be full of coolant. There's gonna be no air in the system. Despite our best endeavors and all range of tools, it's impossible to get that hose clip there off because the clip is right at the bottom. So, Friendly garage, we've borrowed a proper hose clip tool removal. Removal tool, I should say. That clip off was an absolute nightmare. It took me an hour, and without those special hose clips, you can get them from Machine Mart for about £13, but without them, it would have been impossible. What I've done is I've put the clip on the top this time so that you could just release it with a pair of pliers. The bottom one here, as you can see that. Um, luckily, this wasn't too rusted. Often these are completely rusted. You have to com you have to um, repair, replace the whole thing. The bottom one you're going to have to cut off with a Stanley knife. Next, we've got to top the coolant up and hopefully not have to bleed the system because when you put the top one on, the coolant gushes out of there and all the air comes out and suddenly out of there. So if you are going to do this job, make sure you've got the parts first. This part here, I don't know the part number because it wasn't on the bag. You can get this from... ADS in Bristol for 40 quid, get it off eBay, the internet, for 20 quid. It's called the Pipe Over Starter Motor on a diesel. Make sure you've got the right tools to do it. This is a special hose clamp tool, and um, it allows you to squeeze the clamp in really inaccessible areas. Without that, this job would have been impossible. You'll also need a pair of pliers of some description. And I use these old corks, the tapered corks for bunging up the pipes. 